forever. I'm very much aware what is this an act of extreme earnestness to attempt to write an elementary book about structures. Indeed, it is only when the subject is stripped of its mathematics that one begins to realize how difficult it is to pin down and describe those structural concepts which are often called elementary by which I suppose we mean basic or fundamental. Some of the omissions and other simplifications are international but no doubts some of them are due to my own brute ignorance and lack of understanding of the subject. Although this volume is more or less sequel to the new science of strong materials, it can be read as an entirely separate book in its own right. For the season a centering amount of repetition has been unavoidable in the earlier chapters. I have to thank a great many people for factual information, suggestions and for stimulation and something heated discussion. Among the living, my colleges at Reading University have been generous with help, notably Professor W. D. Biggs, Professor of Building Technology, Dr. Dr. Richard Chaplin, Dr. George Hernimides. Dr. Julian Vincent and Dr. Henry Bluth, Professor Anthony Flew, Professor of Physiosophy, made useful suggestions about the last chapter. I am also grateful to Mr. John Barlett, consultant neurosurgeon at the Brook Hospital. Professor T. P. Harches of the University of the West Indies has been helpful about rockets and many other things besides. My secretary, Mr. Jean Collins, was a great help in times of trouble. Mr. Nethercourt of War was kind to me about dress marking. Mr. Herbert Leach and also many of the editorial staff of Pangons have exerted their accustomed patience and hopefulness. Among the dead, I owe a great deal to this remark prayer. Lately of Trinity College, Cambridge, a specialty for discussions about biomechanics, which extended over a period of nearly 30 years. Lastly, for reasons which must certainly be obvious. I own a humble ablation to her that's on a citizen of 
Halicarnassus. Acknowledgements. We acknowledge with gratitude permission to cut from various authors. For Douglas English poem Punch Publication LTD for quotations from Western Marriages, the Sudesman Messers. William Blackwood, LTD, through the quotations from Rogers Kipling, Richard Kipling, the sheep that found herself. Messers, A.P. Watt, and Son and the executors of the late Mr. Bambridge and the Mick McMahon Co. of London and Bessington Stock. Also to Mr. H. R. Cox for the question from his book The Design of Structures of Least Weight. The coordination from the New English Bible Second edition, one nine seven zero, R by kind permission of the Oxford and Cambridge University Press. We are also most grateful to all those named in the list of plates who have to kindly produce illustration and given permission to reproduce them. We have asserted a great deal of help from many people and organizations with air to both cooperations and illustrations. If we have in any instance failed to make proper acknowledgement, we offer our apologies. Chapter 1 The Structures in Our Leaves Or How to Communicate with Engineers As mean journeyed in the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them hard. They used bricks from stones and bitumen for murder. Come, they said, let us build ourselves a city and tower with its top in the heavens and make a name for ourselves. Or we shall be dispersed all over the earth. Then the Lord came down to see the city and tower which mortal men had built. And he said, here, here they are, one people with a single language, and how they have started to do this. Henceover, nothing they have a mind to do will be beyond their reach. Come, let us go down there and curfus their speech so that they will not understand what they say to one another. So the Lord dispersed them from there all over the earth and they left of building the city. 
that is why it is called Babel. That is Babylon, because later they made a Babel of the language of all the world. Genesis 1, 1, 2, 9, New English Bible. A structure has been defined as any assemblage of materials which is intended to sustain lots and the study of structures is one of the traditional branches of scans. If an engineering structure breaks People are likely to get killed, and so engineers do well to investigate the behavior of structures with circumspection. But, infrequently, when they come to tell other people about their subject. Something goes deadly wrong, for they'll talk in strange language, and some of us are left with the conviction that the study of structures and the way in which they carry lots in incomprehensible irrelevant and very boring in it. Yet, structures are involved in our lives in so many ways that we cannot really afford to ignore them. After all, every plant and animal and nearly all the works of man have to sustain greater or less mechanical forces without breaking. And so practically everything is a structure of one kind or another. When we talk about structures, we shall have to ask not only why buildings and bridges fall down, and who machinery and airplanes sometimes break, but also how worms came to the shape they are, and who a bat can flew into arrows, bush without tearing is wings. How do our tendons work? Why do we got lumbago? How were pterodactyls able to weigh so little? Why do birds have feather? How do our arteries work? That can we do for crippled children? Why are selling sheep rigged in the way they are? Why did the bow of Odyssey have to be hard to string? Why did the ancients take the wheels of their chariot at night? How did a Greek couple work? Why is reed shaken by the wind and why is the Parthenon so beautiful? Can engineers learn from natural structures? What can doctor and biologists and artists and archaeologists 
learn from engineers. It is has turned out the strangle do understand the real reasons why structures work and why things break has been a great deal more difficult and has taken much longer than one might have expected. It's really only quite recently that we have been able to fill in and out of the gaps in our knowledge. To answer some of these questions in any very useful or intelligent manner. Naturally, as more of the bees of the jigsaw puzzle are assembled, the general pictures become clearer. We wall subject is becoming less a study for a writer, narrow specialist and more and which the ordinary a person can find real reading and relevant to wide range of general interests. The book is about modern view on the structural element is natural in technology and in everyday life. We shall discuss the way is which the need to be strong and support various necessary laws has influenced the development of all sorts of creators and devices, including man. The living structure biological structures came into being long before artificial owns before there was life in the world there was no such things as a purposive structure of any kind only mountains and heaps of sand and rock even a very simple and primitive kind of life is delicately balanced. Self-perpetuating chemical reaction with needs to be separated and guarded from non-life. Nature having invented life and with in individualism, it became necessary to devise some kind of canter in which to keep it. This film, I remember, has to have at least of minimum and mechanical string, both to contain the living matter and also to give it some protection from outside forces. If, as seems possible, some of the earliest form of leaf consisted to time droplets floating in water, then a very weak and simple barrier, perhaps to more than the surface tension which exists at the interface between different liquids may have sufficed. Gradually, as living creatures multiplied, life became more comparative and the weak, globular and immobile animals were at a disadvantage
the revelation of John. The revelation of Jesus Christ with God gave him to show unto his servants even the things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Why bear witness of the word of God? Word of God and others testimony of Jesus Christ even of all things that he saw. Blessed in her that read that and they that hear the words of the prophecy and keep the things that are written therein for the time is at hand. John to the seven churches that are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to care, come to come. And from the seven spirits that are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, unto him that loves us and loses us from our sins by his blood. And he made us to be a kingdom to be priests into his God and Father and Father. To him be the glory and the dominion for ever and ever. Amen. See, yeah. Yes, of course. Behold, he comes with the clues, and every eye shall see him. And they that pierced him, and all the trees of the earth shall move over him. Even so, Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, said the Lord Good, who is and who was and who is to come, the Elmichti. Of course, Elmichti. I, John, your brother, and Parker, with you in tribulation, and kingdom, and petency which are in her Jesus, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. 
I was the speed on the Lord's day. And I hid behind me a great voice as of trumpet saying that two seeds write in a book and send it to the seven churches unto Ephesus and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamum and unto Thyatira and unto Sardis and unto Philadelphia and unto Lodice. And I turn it to see the voice that speak with me. And having turned it, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the candlesticks, one like unto a son of man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about at the breast with a golden girdle, and his head and his hair are there white and white wool, white as snow, and his eyes away as a flame of fire, as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto burnished brass, as if it had been refined in a furnace, and his voice as the voice of many writers. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth proceeded a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shines in his strength. And then I saw him. I feel at his feet as one dead. And he laid his right hand up me saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last, and the living one, and I was dead, and behold, I am alive for every more. And I had the case of death and of Hades. Right, 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 till for the things which thou sawest, and the things which are, and the things which shall come. Pass here, sir. The mystery of the seven stars which thou saddest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks of the seven stars are 
and the angels are the seven churches and the seven candlesticks are seven churches once again yeah of course very good very good of course To, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, right? These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. He that walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. Once again, golden candlesticks. I know the works and what food, toil, and pain sins, and that thought canst not be a man and doesn't treat them that cult themselves up themselves apostles and they are not and did she find them fails and false has patience and deeds of beer for my name's sake, and hast not grown weary. But I have this against thee, that thou didst live through first love. Remember, 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 there is four ones who add five, and repeat and do the thesaurus, or else I come to thee and will move through candlesticks out of it's please accept to prepare. Very good means, but this su has that su has the works of the Nicolaitans, which I also have. He that hath an ear, let him hear that the Spirit safe to the churches, to him that overcometh, cometh, cometh, to him will I give to eat of the tree of life. Once again, eat to him will I give to eat of the tree of life. It's very important, which is in the paradise of God. And to the angel of the church of Moon right. These things save the first and the last who was dead. And live again. I know 
to tribulation, tribulation, and poverty, but through art rich, and the blessed came of them that say they are Jews, and they are not, but are a synod of Satan. Fear not the things which thou art about to soothe her. Behold, the devil is about to cast some of you into treason, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation, tribulation ten days. Be so faithful unto that, and will give thee the crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear that the Spirit saith. To the churches, he that are consisted shall not be heard of the second death. And to the angel of the crash, Pergamum, right. These things saith he that hath the sharp two edges sword. I know where the dress last, even their sarn's term is. And so holdest fast my name, and didst not deign my guide, even in the days of Antipas, my wiseness, my faithful one, who was killed. Among you, there is certain dwells, but I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there is some that hold the teaching. Of Balaam, who took the Balak to cast a stumbling block, block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit fornication. So hast so as the soul that holds the teaching of the Nicolaitans in like manner. Repent, fail for all else. I come to the quickly, and I will make. Was against them with the sword of my mouth. He 
that has an ear. Let him hear the Spirit say to the church, to him that overcomes, to him will I give of the hidden man, and I will give him a right stone and Upon the stone a new name written, which no one knoweth but that received it. And to the angel of the church in Thuatira. Right. These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eye like a flame of fire, and his feet are like unto burnished brass. I know through rocks, I know through rocks, and the loaf, and that thing on the ministry, and puddings, and that the last works are more than the earth. But I have this against thee that the sufferers and the woman Jezebel, who carried herself a thousand feathers, and she teaches and seduces my experience. To coined in obligation and he thinks sacrifice it to idols. And I give her time that, that she should repent and she will not to repent of her fornication. Once again, behold, I cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery leave her into great tribu tribulation. Except the repent of her works, and I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am her that says the rains and hurts, and I will give unto each one of you according to your works. But to you I say, to the rest that are in theater, as many as have not this teaching, who know not the deeps, things of such as they are wrong to say, I curse uh, a non other burden, nevertheless, that which. A how hold fast till I co 
home. And that occurs as he keeps my works unto the end. To him will I give authority over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a putter and broken to shares as I also have received of my father and I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear that the speed says to the churches. Never fail us that which he has. Hold fast till I come. And he that comes, and he that keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give authority over the nations and he shall rule them with a road of iron as the vessels of the putter and broken to see them as I also came received of my father. And I will.